Hi again. Um, just thought you um, you guys out there would like to see what the system uh, gives out. Um, we have it on uh, this reading here. And you can see nothing on it at the moment. I'm just going to use the positive. It gives a better reading. I'll uh, switch her on. And we have positive input. 0 0.35 yeah 879 around there and uh, after it leaves um, the ignition coil it comes through this blue wire here and again I'll just put it in and you can see the difference is 3. Point Two oh yeah plus. So there is a difference in the system. Um, the next next part, as I said last time, I would uh, I would try and set this system up using the uh, the ignition coil as the high voltage. Um, Maybe there's not enough voltage coming out of this ignition coil. But um, I've set it up as I thought, um, or as per the drawing. I have a ferrite rod in the core. Um, yeah, we have uh, the, out the output for this system going into here. Um, yeah, into this coil which is um, connected to this large copper coil which comes out one one end through the light here the halogen light and the other end uh, of the halogen light going into the coil and the last piece comes down to our battery again to loop the system as you can see if I take you may be able to hear it but if I take uh, this off, we don't have light. So it does need the looping system. I'll just put it back on again. See, see we have light again. Um, I'll try various lighting uh, sources, otherwise I will not run it through these lights. I'll run it directly from the uh, the spark gap. I thought it was just interesting to show you what the difference is in the system. Stay posted.